Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Mi Casa. Today I'm going to show you my full body skincare routine. All right, let's get started. Hop into my shower. Come on, come on over here, baby. For my body routine, I use this to cleanse my body first. This is actually a face cleanser, but I use it for my body as well. I switched all my cleansers for both my face and body with this one because my body skin is also very sensitive and I've noticed that some body washes, they make my skin super dry or my skin gets itchy or irritated after using them. So ever since I switched to the Robectin Skin Essentials Conditioning Cleanser, I've never felt any irritation. So I continue to use this product for my face and my body for about three months straight now. It's a low pH gentle cleanser with a very, very hydrating finish. It doesn't strip away your skin of its natural protective moisture barrier, so your skin feels very hydrated even after you come out from the shower. If you have dry skin, I want to highly recommend this product. And I've noticed that ever since I started using this cleanser as my body wash, because it contains citric acid, which is a type of AHA that acts as a really gentle exfoliator, my body acne on my back plus my chest area has improved so much. This baby cleanses, hydrates, and works as a daily exfoliator. Uh, so definitely this is one of the best choices I've made for both my face and my body as well. And I mentioned this before, but I'm thinking of having a baby within two to three years. So I'm really more cautious of the products that I use for my body. And this uh, cleanser is gentle enough for babies to use as well. All right, now that I'm done with cleansing plus exfoliating my body, I moisturize my skin right away. I love applying some kind of moisture to the skin when it is still damp. I make sure to keep that prime time for moisturizing after I get out of the shower. I pat myself till I am slightly damp and then begin adding this bubble on my skin. Are you confused? Are you asking, why is Anni putting on bubbles after her shower? <laughs> this is actually a really watery texture toner that I added to my bubble maker. I love, I really love using it this way because it absorbs into my skin so much faster compared to just putting it on my skin. You can use any type of watery texture toner with this bubble maker. I'm using the Sika Care Purifying Toner from Rovectin. Uh, this is also super gentle yet hydrating. It's a calming facial toner that targets the most sensitive and irritated skin that has been damaged from common conditions like uh, hormonal breakouts, um, aging, and rosacea as well. It really heals and protects your damaged sensitive skin. And it is also free of paraben, uh, fragrance, mineral oil, and artificial coloring as well. I really hope that we all become a little bit more picky with the products that we do use for our body as well as much as we do for our face. Make sure to check for the ingredient list for your body products as well. Also for the hot summer days that's coming up, I love putting this in the fridge for a little bit and then popping it on my body plus my face as soon as I come out of the shower. When you use it this way, the bubble is extra cold, so you can use it as a quick DIY face plus body mask for calming and hydration. And after, I use a moisturizer for my body. Everyone has their preference for their body creams, right? For me, I love, uh, number one, something that absorbs quickly into my skin that doesn't leave any you know, oiliness nor stickiness. Number two, I look for firming ingredients for anti-aging because I do have concerns of saggy skin. I'm, you know, 35 now, so I do see some sagging of the skin on my body. And of course, this is natural. This can be due to aging. When we age, both our elastin and collagen production decreases, but it can be because of other reasons like poor diet or too much UV exposure or drinking too much alcohol or other really bad habits that you might have. So I started using this body cream. This is also from Robectin. This body cream has an anti-aging ingredient called astaxanthin. This is an antioxidant found in microalgae that researchers believe to be 6,000 times stronger than vitamin C and 550 times stronger than vitamin E. Also, this cream has ceramides and other ingredients to hydrate your skin with a very silky, smooth finish that is not sticky nor greasy. I want to highly recommend this one for those of you who want to start anti-aging uh, for not just your face, but your body as well. 
Alrighty, so that pretty much sums up my body skincare routine that I do every single day. And I also wanted to share some of my other body skincare tips and hacks that I really, really love for my pampering routines. I don't do these tips every single day, but I do it at least one to two times a week. First tip is body wrapping for extremely dry, flaky, and cracked skin. So you can think of this tip as putting on a sheet mask for your body. If you have extremely dry skin like me, you want to give extra care for your body, then this is such an easy but effective method. I usually use the body cream that I just mentioned before with an oil plus some wraps. That's all you need. You can use any oil of your choice, but I use this one because it has a lighter texture than other oils and it helps not just with moisturizing your skin but also with stretch marks as well it contains nine different nourishing and gentle botanic oils that are very moisturizing yet that feels really light on your skin I use this Robectin Barrier Repair Multi Oil with my cream plus some wraps diligently around my legs, hands, feet for about two to three months now, and my dry skin has improved drastically. I'm gonna show you the tips for my hands and feet after this tip, so stay tuned in. All you have to do is apply the mixture of your cream and oil onto the body part that you want to care for, and then use the wrap to wrap that area. Leave it on for about 20 to 30 minutes or even up to an hour. But one thing that you have to be careful of is not to wrap it too tightly, okay? Now, turn on your favorite K-drama or Netflix and the time goes by real quickly, okay? Oh, by the way, if you have concerns of cellulite, you can use a product for cellulite and then do the wrapping tip. Now, this will help to boost the effect of the product as well. Now it is time to care for our hands and feet. Now I've shown this tip many times in my videos and it has such good results that I show it over and over again. I love this tip. It's super easy but very effective. All you need uh, is plastic gloves, uh, plastic bags, uh, plus any gloves that you have lying around your house and any socks that you have lying around your house. And then you need a rich textured moisturizer or any type of oil that you have lying around the house. I'm gonna use the same combination of the same cream and the same oils that I used before this tip. Apply the mixture onto your hands and then apply it halfway or so. It doesn't have to be fully soaked in because with the DIY hands uh, and feet mask that we're gonna be making, it's gonna soak in the goodness uh, for you. Then put the plastic glove on. Then put on your other gloves. Same thing for your feet. Put on the mixture of the cream and then put on the plastic bag and then put on your socks. This tip works better if you do have socks plus gloves that are a little bit tight so that it can fit your skin really well. And voila, you are done. All you have to do is sit back, relax, turn on some Netflix or your favorite K-drama and just wait about 30 to 40 minutes or sometimes I just leave it on for about up to an hour or so. This will act as a DIY hands slash feet mask to make your skin extremely moisturized. Now, here is the last tip of today's video. The most important thing for your face plus your body is to wear sunscreens. As you guys know, sunscreen is so crucial to protect your skin. Realistically speaking, I don't put on my sunscreen all over my body every single day, but I do make sure to wear sunscreens on my face, neck, ears, hands every single day and of course there are days where i wear short sleeve or any clothing that my body parts are exposed to the sun i make sure to wear sunscreen on that area and if you can it is the best to reapply sunscreens every three to four hours as well when you are out all right guys, I hope that you guys had fun hanging out with me and watching my body skincare routine. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah!